Yep. Hi, yep. You know what? I feel like I shouldn't even have to say a single word in this video. I should sit here for eight minutes straight and give some of you all the look. Because some of you all have argued me up and down about this Gypsy Rose situation. How dare you say anything rude about Gypsy Rose? Can't you see she's happy? How dare you question her marriage? Well, I guess we see how that turned out, didn't we? And, you know, some people say that I say, I told you so too much. And you know what? I agree. The problem is, though, that I have a, a habit of calling things out when other people are afraid to say it. And because I have no problem doing that, I get a lot of backlash on a daily basis. Hate mail, hundreds of people unsubscribing from my channel because I got their panties up in a bunch about something I said. People reporting me, trying to get me canceled, trying to get me kicked off of YouTube, spreading horrible lies about me all over the internet. And when I get proven right, a week or two or a month or two later, I never get any apologies or anything like that. So you're damn right I'm going to laugh in these people's faces and say I told you so when it comes to something like this. And when it comes to the Gypsy Rose situation, I've been calling this out from day one. And here we are today. And I came across this post on social media. And this news doesn't catch me by surprise, but... I kind of felt like, oh, this has to be fake. But then the mainstream outlet started reporting on it as well. I sat back and I waited. I didn't want to jump on it too quickly. But it appears that the Gypsy Rose and her husband, that creepily, oddly enough, looks like her mom, it appears that it's over. She's already kicking him to the curb, just like that, just like I told you all. And you know what? At this point, I'm going to have to crank up this popcorn machine for real. Because it looks like this show is just getting started. Gypsy Rose is ready to embark on her own journey. And a boy, oh boy, it's going to be a complete sh show. But <laughs> let's go ahead and... And look at this post. People have been asking, what is going on in my life? Unfortunately, my husband and I are going through a separation. And I moved in with my parents. I moved in with my parents' home down in the bayou. I have the support of my family and friends to help me or to help guide me through this. I am learning to listen to my heart. Right now, I need time to let myself find who I am. And you know what? I think that this is what's best for Gypsy Rose. And this is something that I think, you know, I've talked about prior to this. About how Gypsy Rose got out of jail and she was automatically under the thumb, under, you know, the watchful eye of her husband, and she's never had a chance. You know, she's was she was under her mom, then she was in prison, and then under the dude who looks like her mom. She never, she never got a chance to actually try to live her life on her own. So Ryan, boy, oh boy, it's over for you. Gypsy Rose is about to get out here and have a hot girl summer. Gypsy Rose is going to be here, there, there, and there. And oh boy, oh boy, are we going to be tuned in for this complete, just, 
I don't even want to say it. All right. I don't even want to say it. I just know that this is going to get crazy. But how long has it been since she's been out of jail? Just a couple of months, right? I know that it seems like it's been years because so much stuff has happened in the world since she got out of jail. But it's only been a couple of months. Marriage, already over. What, what comes next? What comes next? It goes to show the, the mentality. Because it was just a couple of weeks ago that she was pre professing her love for this guy. Oh, Ryan, you're the best. Your D is fire. Oh, forget the haters, blah, blah, blah. And they're going on all of these talk shows. They're so lovey-dovey. And then like that, it's over. I guess Ryan served his purpose in her life. She used him for whatever she could use him for. And now she's moving on elsewhere. But even after reading this news, part of me is still hesitant. Part of me is still hesitant because I believe that Gypsy is someone who is, oddly enough, extremely media savvy. I believe that she's fully capable of manipulating people, doing things for attention. And I don't know if this is just another move for attention. Who's to say that tomorrow, you know, or a few hours from now, I'm recording this at night, you'll watch it in the morning. Who's to say that she doesn't come out and claim, oh, this is all fake? Who's to say that she doesn't come out and say, oh, I changed my mind, when in reality she's just grasping for more attention and more clout? Because there is supposedly already a reality show in the works, and I'm assuming this dude is part of it. So maybe this is just one of those storylines for her new reality show. And basically her life is a reality show now. And with these social media influencers and with these famous people in general, you have to understand that there's a lot of manufactured drama in their life that they put out there on the internet, that they put out there in the world to keep people entertained, intertwined, and invested in them and their stories and their brand. So I don't know what's going to happen between these two, but I wouldn't be surprised that even if this is real, even if they're getting a divorce and they're breaking up, I wouldn't be surprised if Gypsy finds some way to capitalize off of this, monetize this in some way. There'll be a a, a new reality show tomorrow about Gypsy Rose and Ryan trying to figure out their marriage, marriage counseling with Gypsy. But at the end of the day, a lot of us already saw this coming. I never thought this marriage would last long. I thought it would last a little longer than this. But we knew that once, once Gypsy got out in the real world and tasted freedom, she wasn't going to want to be up under Ryan. He's lucky that she chose this path instead of, you know, maybe forming another relationship with another dude that she would talk, you know, or she would convince to kill Ryan because I don't see how Ryan could ever sleep comfortably an, um, next to this woman. I would not sleep in the same home with this woman, period. I don't think anyone should. You never know what she's capable of. But, that, but but as of right now, this is all we know. That the marriage seems to be over. They've already basically split. They've separated. She's already living somewhere else. Who knows what will come of this? I'm wondering if we will hear from Ryan. I don't know. But I'm sure more drama will start to unfold. But for now, let me know your thoughts about all of this down in the comments below. While you're down there, if you want to donate to the channel, you could do so via Cash App or Super Thanks. Or for free, you could help the channel by liking, subscribing, and sharing the video. But with that being said, I'll talk to you all very soon at the next one.